Hello everyone out there in the virtual. Um, I just thought I would talk through some of the some of my beautiful silver rings that I have in stock at the moment. Uh, for those of you that know my work, um, you know that uh, I very much like to produce one of a kind pieces. Um, each piece is handmade. Um, and whether it be something about the gemstone or the finesse of the ring, no two pieces are ever quite the same. Um, I always think that you know we are all individuals, so we should have a piece that really does represent us and what we like, and to, you know not to be the same as everyone else. Um, so I will start with this ring here. Um, so this ring, very pretty, it's actually a quartz and this sparkly little speckles that you can see in there are pyrite, so fool's gold and they're just naturally included within the stone itself and it's quite lovely because although it's quite, quite a large stone it's actually quite flat so when you wear it on your finger sits not too high even though you get a lovely coverage across there and with all of my rings you've got the lovely detailing around the band and then it wraps itself around the finger giving a really lovely stable feel when on and there you can just see the back oh, it's loveliness. I use a lot of different textures in the finishing of my pieces. So you've got the matte there of the silver that I've shined up, just giving a light polish over the textured setting edge around the stone. just think it sort of helps highlight and complement the piece there. And that piece is available on the website, I believe fingers crossed. <laughs> and now onto another quartz ring with again mineral inclusion and the inclusion this time is the mineral called um, rutile which you see in the golden threads running through the stone here. It's a really lovely architectural feel I think to the piece. Very structured these often remind me of uh, Kandinsky paintings, I think. And then here you've got the 18 carat around the setting, so that's a solid 18 carat setting. And again with the silver and band, again with it sort of wrapping around the finger. People often say to me, oh, your, fin your rings aren't round. I always say fingers aren't round, but the way I design them is that they very ergonomically fit and they're very comfortable. They kind of don't even sort of interfere really. They just feel nice and soft. And each of these Utile quartz, I've got some examples here. So if you did want something slightly different. These are called Starburst Rutile, and they've got black hematite in. See where the starburst comes from, where they're all radiating out from one point. This is a really coppery one. And they're just lovely because they really come alive when you're wearing them. And this one here again is another quartz, but this is a quartz with the mineral inclusion of black tourmaline crystals. And it's just lovely, it gives a lovely, you've got the height to the cabbage on there and you can see it's almost like um, seeing inside a building when you see all the, the structural supports. Again, set in silver. All of my rings, because the gemstones are one of a kind, I can size them 
So if you ever see something on Instagram or Facebook and you're not quite sure, just get in touch and I can I can tell you whether I can size it to your required size. Again, if not, you, I always keep a supply of stones so you can always maybe choose something for yourself and I can make that up for you. There we go. There's just a few of my quartz rings. And I'll, um, I'll speak to you guys soon.